Got some fresh ginger here. I'm using some of my fermented peppers from my garden because I don't have any chili peppers. You know, I thought I planted some chili peppers and instead cherry peppers came up. <laughs> so that's kind of a funny thing. But anyways, these are some I fermented. I'm also going to add some fresh diced pepper into this too. Just wanted to show you real quick. This is the craziest garlic head I've ever had to clean. It's got all these tiny little cloves and just a few big ones. It's driving me nuts. I have never had taken this long to open up garlic. Jeez. Okay, so I added in a little bit of onion I had from something else and I got all these pepperoncinis out of my garden I'm about to clean up. And I got a peplano that I accidentally pulled off, so I'm just gonna use that too. Man, I was mad I pulled that off. <laughs> I was doing, so, I don't remember what I was doing, but I I was moving and I heard something break and I looked over and I was like, oh man, <laughs> darn it. But at least it'll be good in this. Okay, I got my ginger. Um, there's a little bit of onion that I had left over. I have onions, but I didn't want to put too much onion. I put onion in everything, I'm an onion head. But there's some peppers, fermented peppers and fresh peppers in here from my garden. Got some soy sauce. Not too much soy sauce because it is salty if you've never used soy sauce before. And this is some sesame oil, which is absolutely wonderful. I might even add some more of this um, when I put the pork in this. Might. Uh-oh, Dolly found out I'm cooking. You hear her paws coming up behind me. Oh, I'm not making anything for you. Just go back in there and mind your own beeswax. I gotta stop the camera for a minute. I gotta get this lid off. This is a jar of um, blackberry jam with garlic. Just to add some sweetness into this. I could have used honey, I could have used brown sugar, I could have used molasses, but that's what I decided to use. So, let's see if I screwed it up. And this is malt vinegar, because I don't have any rice wine vinegar, which would have been better, but I don't happen to have any. I don't have any chili peppers, and I don't have any rice wine vinegar, and I didn't feel like going to the store, because it's early, uh, and... I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> okay, let me chop up my pork and add it in here. I made this pork yesterday in my slow cooker with some fermented orange bell peppers. Oh, man, is it good. And me and Dolly were just eating some. But I got to chop all this up and add it to my mix for my uh, dumpling filling. And I got a lot more in the fridge. Um, oh, my. Somebody wants to go outside. <laughs> Samantha, would you like to go outside? But anyways, I'm gonna chop this up and add it to my filling and then I'm gonna make my dough. Oh, that's good. I just I just tried a bite of that. Oh, it was really good. Oh man, is that good? Um, I wanted to say I have some ideas about conjuring the ghost like I talked about before. Um, you know, I don't conjure ghosts obviously, so I've been thinking about it, how to do it. and. Some people misconstrued what I was talking about sound equipment, which I guess I could use eventually if I learn how to do this, but I got the sound equipment for other reasons, you know, and I was just talking about it because I had been messing with it that day, but that has nothing to do with the ghost. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use feathers and I'm going to make the ghost move the feathers, ask the ghost to move the feathers. Because, you know, that's lightweight. It's something they can move. I'll make sure it's not windy so I'm not cheating, <laughs> obviously. I just thought it was a good idea. You know, I might even do it tonight. But, you know, I was thinking I could do it in the day. I mean, obviously, if there's ghosts, they're not just around at night. You know, even though all the ghost channels, you know, do that at night. Okay, I got to make my dough. Okay, I got my little dough ball made up. Well, it's not little. But... I want to let that rest for about half an hour. Um, kneading it and doing this builds up the gluten in it. It makes for good noodles, which is like, you know, what dumplings are, basically. Okay, I'm heating up some of the pork broth from last night in here. And I don't really know how much I should use because it'll 
thin out in a minute. It's already thinning out like crazy. But um, I'm going to boil some eggs in here first because not only am I going to add some to the little soup I'm going to make, but also my cats love them. So I'm going to make some boiled eggs in here. And if you watch my channel, you know I do this a lot with chicken broth, beef broth, any broth. I boil eggs for the cats and me. I eat them too. They're really good. It makes it taste like roasted meat egg or something. But after that, I'm kind of going to make like a little sort of egg drop soup with this to put the dumplings in. But the steamer pot goes right on top of this. So I don't want to put too much in here because then it'll go up through the steamer thing. And I don't want that. The steamer holds. Okay, so I got everything in here. I made my little dumplings. Uh, I'm going to make some more later probably. But the eggs are underneath in the pan under there too, also cooking. And you can see the steam starting to build up in there. Um, did I mention I've never done this before? <laughs> I don't know if, you know, I should have closed them off. Yeah, but man, it was really hard. But I'm sure I'll get better at it. <laughs> you know, I really love Chinese dumplings and I've really wanted to do this for a long time. I also did some of the dough thicker. And some of it thinner because I don't really know which is better. So we will find out on this test batch here. Okay. And here's our finished product here. We got a there's the dumplings. I should have closed those more, and I think the dough is better thinner, by the way. And I'm gonna put some diced onions all over everything because I told you I'm an onion head. Yes. But there's um, some sauerkraut and peppers there, and there's some green onions there's a boiled egg sliced up that's the from the egg drop soup there's some chives in the broth too looks pretty good for a first timer 